Charity workers say the number of families in the West Midlands turning to food banks has increased almost tenfold in just five years. In 2011, supplies were handed out to almost 13,000 people. That's according to the Trussell Trust. But they say last year that number reached more than 110,000. Our reporter Jennifer Myrens has been to meet one man who set up an emergency food delivery service in memory of his mother. This is no ordinary warehouse. Everything here is free. Imran named Salma Food Bank after his mother who died when he was 17. She, she didn't have too much money, but her confidence in saying to people that, you know what, everything's going to be okay, I think that was the cure. This is one of the reasons why our food bank takes direct calls, because we say to people, don't worry, we're on your side. Imran helped clear the streets of Birmingham during the bin strike. Now he's enlisted some of his fellow bearded bros to help meet the demand for food. In the last year and a half, Salma Food Bank has fed more than 7,200 people. Let's go meet some of them. The first delivery is for Elizabeth. She was a live-in chef, and when she lost her job, she also lost her home. Imran is amazing. If it wasn't for him, knowing there's somebody out there that you can turn to, you know, I think I would have been, probably wouldn't have been in a really good place. Next stop is Sarah. She has fibromyalgia, which causes pain all over her body. I can't go out and carry shopping. I can't lift any heavy, any anything heavy. So him bringing the shopping to me, it just takes a lot, a lot of weight off me. Imran and his volunteers have become a lifeline to the people they help regularly. It's really just opened my eyes because you wouldn't think that there's this many people without food. Imran's father, Abdul, is pleased with the lasting legacy he's created. You have carried on your mother's job and I'm proud and she will be proud of there, there's no doubt. Thank you. Jennifer Myrens, BBC Midlands Today, Smethwick.